Hey everyone, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's Adobe InDesign CC tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how you prepare a poster for print. So we're gonna get into um, using image frames real quick. We're gonna go into printer's marks such as crops and bleeds, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your document for poster printing. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So you can see that I've already got a poster here of Amir Khan set up just for an example, but we're gonna actually start from scratch. But I do wanna walk you through some of the components of this. We do have our live area here in purple, our bleed area in red. So that's just something you need to understand about the document setup. And we do have a single image here that exceeds, the artwork exceeds the actual um, overall live area and bleed area so we have some flexibility there but what you'll want to do is you'll want to pay attention to this purple area the live safety area in terms of what's absolutely going to be printed and not cut off so you want everything that's important to be within that part of your frame here but let's go ahead and just set up a new document from scratch and we're going to make this a typical poster size which might be 18 by 24 or 24 by 36 um, it's only gonna be one We don't need facing pages. We don't need to worry about that uh, Half inch margins are good for this. And we're gonna set bleed to an eighth of an inch And this is the decimal calculation for an eighth of an inch bleed. So we're gonna want to put that in and hit ok And you can see what we've got. We've got our trim We've got our bleed in red and then we've got our margin for safety Which is a half inch all the way around here in purple. So what we're gonna want to do here is go ahead and take our image frame and we can either drag it from the corners or we could click on it I just prefer to eyeball it dragging from the corners match that up with smart guides and there we go we have an image frame that is perfectly suited to our document with bleed so then we're just gonna go over drag our artwork into the image frame and it comes right in so we're good to go, we could resize it, we can position it. Now you see that it came in a little pixelated, we're just gonna right click, go to our display performance and pick high quality display. And there we go, so it's perfectly fine. So it shows that it has no errors and part of that is because we used a CMYK image. And I'll bring that up in our links panel. We used the CMYK image, it's got the right amount of DPI here. You could go with 150 for poster printing. So with that, our artwork is good to go. You'll want to create CMYK versions of your JPEGs or TIFF files. Now for the highest quality, you'll want to use a TIFF file. I'm using a JPEG for speed and for file size, so you may need to do that just based on what your situation is and what the person you're sending it to can ha handle. So we're gonna go to File, Export, and you can do this with shortcut um, Command-E, uh, Control-E if you're on Windows. Um, we're just gonna go uh, with con poster as our file name. We're gonna make sure that the format is uh, Adobe PDF uh, for print, not interactive. Hit save, and then our dialog is gonna come up. Now, based on what settings um, the person you're sending it to has, I mean, I usually go with the default for the compatibility as far as Adobe Acrobat. You can do what you feel you need to there. I have a print poster preset that I've made, but you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. You know, so we only have the one page, so we don't need to worry about that. I like to view the PDF after exporting. We don't need Acrobat layers. Uh, we don't need embed pudge thumbnails. So this is all fine. And again, you can check whatever you feel you need to here. For compression, this is where I really, um, you know, want to deal with some things just based on what we have going on here it's fine for us to have the default down sampling if you felt like you needed this down sample to 150 you could do that here in terms of dpi um, we have compression here we can set it to jpeg we can set it to none uh, for the highest overall quality you could choose none and then this is the really important part for this marks and bleeds so these are your printer's marks. And the thing is, I prefer, I usually deal with professional printers. So I usually use cop marks, bleed marks, registration marks, and color bars, and don't deselect page information because they don't really need that. I always use the document bleed settings. And then I just check my outputs to just make sure everything is set up correctly. 
So based on this, I can assume that everything is fine. And if I wanted to, I could um, set all of this as a preset and I could save it to use again. And I could just click here and do that. But this all seems to be fine. So now I'll click export. And we can see here that InDesign is running that as a background task and it's exporting our file. And as soon as it's done, that's going to open up in Adobe Acrobat. And in this case, it's just taking a little longer because of the lack of compression. You can see Adobe Acrobat's launching now. And we have our poster. So you can see that we have our um, poster of Amir Khan. We can see the crop marks here of what we really want. We can see the bleed that it has to go with. And we can see the registration marks and the printer's marks. So that's everything they're going to need to do a good job of printing this poster. So, you know, this in theory is what we should end up with for the most part. And that's what they'll be printing for us. So if you need to print a poster for a client and set that up for them, and give them what's called a print ready PDF. This is the process that you would go through. This is what I've used for professional posters for my clients. You see that, you know, Adobe InDesign here is reporting no errors on that. So this is all good to go. Now, you could package this if you needed to, but generally the printers and the clients just need a print ready PDF. So you don't have to go through that. I will cover packaging InDesign files in another tutorial. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this InDesign CC tutorial. Remember, none of these features are specific to a particular version of Adobe InDesign. You could do this in anything from InDesign CS6 and up, so that should be perfectly fine for you. You can probably do this in anything as far back as InDesign CS3. Well, I hope you learned something interesting today. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.